These sh shingles are great for sloped roofs, but when you get a flat roof application, they're not good. And let me show you what's going on with this roof. I gotta be real careful. Um, but you can see here that that's all rotted out and sunken in. It's also going on over here. And the reason for that, and stand on a soft spot, you get this angle here. As the water comes down this, and that's a real slight slope here, but once it gets to this point, it's too flat and the water doesn't drain off fast enough, and it ends up backing up, and instead of draining down, it comes back up and can slide, uh, seep underneath the shingles here and leak in, and so that's what's been happening here. Uh, you've also got some trees hanging over, so there may have been some tree branches rubbing on the roof that kind of made the situation worse. But uh, real important, if you're going to have a patio cover built uh, or anything like that, that they put on a roll roofing product, uh, not shingles, because you'll at some point have a situation like this. So the cure for this is we've got to take this whole roof off, uh, which is about 35 feet across and 15 feet this way. Um, we've got to replace it replace all the decking that's rotted and then put on a flat roof material and that'll take care of the issue but it could be of it could have been prevented in the beginning by putting on the right kind of roof So we started taking off this flat roof area uh, where it's all rotted out. You can see right over there and then over here it's all rotted. And one of the reasons why, of course they have the shingles, but on the felt paper they didn't overlap it properly. So this is what we call felt paper, the tar paper here. And you can see how it just overlaps right here. And that's just two inches. When you have a flat application like that, you've got to overlap it at an 18 inch interval. So if you were to lift this up, you would see extra felt paper, and this is old stuff here, but you would see it way back here, and that just keeps water from, from leaking in and getting underneath it like this. Uh, when it's real flat, the water doesn't have enough time to drain off, and so it just seeps right back there, and then leaks in here, and causes lots of problems.